Hey everyone, thanks thanks for stopping by. Thanks for, for coming to visit uh, me here. Uh, here in uh, Pokemon Purgatory, where I now canonically reside, uh, awaiting a glorious rebirth uh, of destruction uh, that may never come. Um, uh, I, as, I don't have, I don't have much going on. I don't have much going on here in my little egg, here being a little egg boy. Uh, but it's given me time, it's given me time to reflect. To reflect on life, and the universe, and everything. And everything that ever was, or is, or ever shall be. And, uh, I gotta say, uh, I've become, I've become pretty fucking wise, uh, in the intervening time. I've become... I've become pretty much the wisest uh, thing that ever existed. I, you, I know you can't see it through my little eggshell, but I'm, but I'm smiling wisely uh, constantly in here because my wisdom is just so fucking powerful and radiant that when this shell cracks, uh, the the light of my wisdom uh, will, it will be like will be like will be like the sun. It'll be like the sun appears on Earth and everything will be destroyed in a glorious. Uh, a glorious plasma flame uh, of smartness and uh, genius think thinkery. Um, anyway, uh, to to the reason the reason I'm the reason I'm uh, talking to you right now is that um, my 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 dear dear friend and uh, literal human shitpost uh, Tommy Oliver uh, recently flagrantly attacked me. Uh, with slanderous lies, um, claiming that Dungeons and Dragons is fun, and um, uh, unt and until and until my return to destroy all that lay before me, uh, that my words, my words are my weapon, uh, and I'm going to wield them. I'm going to wield them with such precise accuracy and acumen and and puissance. Puissance. Pu 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 um, th that he will be uh, slain and lay lain asunder. Uh, all right, that's enough fucking preamble. Let's let's talk about Dungeons and Dragons. First of all, I I want to say <clears throat> that I like I get I get where Tommy and where all you fucking joy boys in in the comments saying, "Ooh, you're so right." I I get where you're all coming from because I was there. I was there as a wee baby teen boy. Um, uh, and and in, into my young adulthood, thinking Dungeons and Dragons was the, was the cool was a cool and nice and good way to spend my time. But you know what? I was fucking wrong, and I'll tell you why. All right. So, I, but I, I get I get the arguments that oh, you're not limited. You're not limited by like a computer system. Yes, in Dungeons and Dragons, you can do anything you want. And yeah, that is that is a strength of the medium, and it's pretty much the only strength. It's pretty much the whole selling point of D and D. It's oh, you're you're limited only by your imagination. Well, kinda, not really though, because okay, there's I know like there's different games have different rules, but if we're talking about Dungeons and Dragons specifically, the rules of Dungeons and Dragons are really only designed for specific things like, you know, combat and spellcasting and diplomacy, you know, the skills and, and you know, they're, they're designed for some things. Tommy, Tommy talks about how Dungeons and Dragons let you do anything you want and be creative. Well, within the rules of the game, you kind of can. But if you go outside of what the game explicitly prescribes, like about what the rules that exist in the game are designed to handle, then you've gone completely off the rails and you're really not playing Dungeons and Dragons anymore. What you're doing is just what you're doing is just like freeform role playing, which is fine. Like I don't have a problem with freeform role, role playing. I think that's something. I mean, I mean, I still wouldn't freeform role play for other reasons that I'll get into. I, I would still think like, Ugh, why bother? Um, but I think that I think that Dungeons and Dragons or another or another like game system designed for live action role playing like that is pretty much just inherently inferior to some like a more free form thing like that like because like yeah this benefit of being able to do whatever you want all of the anything all of the anything that happens in a game like that is stuff that happens outside of the of the actual rules of the game and so when you're when you're doing that stuff, like why even bother playing Dungeons and Dragons or or, or mutants and masterminds or Call of Cthulhu or or uh, uh, some White Wolf shit or uh, um, White Wolf is that the vampire whatever? Why even bother? I hate rules. 
Rules bog everything down. That's another thing. Rules bog everything down. Dungeons and Dragons has too many rules. Um, try to fucking play Dungeons and Dragons. I fucking dare you. You can't. It's literally impossible because you'll get your friends together. You'll be like, oh, let's make characters and play Dungeons and Dragons. Nope. You're going to spend six fucking hours uh, while everyone comes together and like tries to decide what they want their character to be. And someone's going to be new and they're not going to know how to do it. And, and everyone who's experienced might get their character made, you know, maybe in a couple of hours. But then after that's all done, the new people who are, are just like, oh, what do I do? Uh, walk me through it. It takes for fucking ever. You will never, ever play Dungeons and Dragons when you set out to. You, you will always waste the entire night making your characters. And it's not even interesting. Making a character, like a low-level character is not even interesting, and yet it takes for fucking ever. Um, because you always end up explaining. Okay, that's another thing. Um, actually playing Dungeons and Dragons, you get fucking bogged down in the rules. I understand that there are probably groups out there who are just so fucking, so fucking into it and that know it all so intuitively that like the game proceeds without a hitch and like, you know, the turns flow smoothly one into the other and nobody's sitting around, nobody's waiting, but I have never, <coughs> ever encountered such a thing always combat takes fucking hours like one combat will take like hours and hours it'll take the, the whole fucking night sometimes because there's all this fucking shit happening and everyone wants to like every it gets their turn you're supposed to fucking think about your turn before you get there and be ready to do what you plan to do and the, the dm responds but it never fucking happens you get to the next person and then there's like oh well there's all this hemming and hawing and like reconsidering and they didn't think about it because they were busy on their phone or some shit i know you're not supposed to do that but it happens it fucking happens i i defy you if you say that it doesn't oh my group's so good that uh, everyone's fucking bullshit bullshit there's no such group there's no such fucking group that doesn't make Dungeons and Dragons an absolute chore to play. It doesn't exist. I do not have enough faith in the human animal to believe that any such collection of people could ever convene under any circumstances. No. No, you're lying if you say I'm wrong. Um, and then... Alright. So yeah. Everyone fucks around. It takes forever. Okay. And then as the turns go by, everyone gets invested in their turn. Like, when it's their turn, it's like, ooh, it's time for me to do my thing, time for me to show off my skills, and for me to make creative decisions, da-da-da-da-da. Everyone else tunes the fuck out, because everyone wants their turn. Everyone is excited about their turn, and, like, someone else is going, okay, well, maybe I'll pay a little attention, like, to be polite. Maybe, like, what they're doing might involve me, and ooh, maybe then I'll get in invested. But no, for the most part, it's someone else's turn. Everyone else is kind of just sitting around, just waiting, just waiting for their turn. If you're playing with four people, that means that in a, in a combat scenario, 75% uh, of the time spent in that scenario uh, is time that you don't care about because it doesn't have any, because you don't need to do anything. You're just waiting for everyone else to do their thing. Um, uh, DMing. Okay. So, so these are all reasons why you shouldn't play D&D. &D. Um, mm -hmm. Tom talks about, you know, how you need a good DM. I agree. A, like, if you have a bad DM, of course, there's, there's no reason to even fucking bother. But what's in it for the DM, right? Like, okay, the DM, the DM needs to be... All right, you, you need to be, like, a good writer and, like, creator, and, like, you need to, like flesh out a good campaign and like write all this shit ahead of time and be really prepared. That's a lot of work. You have to sink like hours and hours um, of your time into preparing for a session of D&D. I mean, maybe not always, but a lot of the time. It's a lot of fucking work. And then you've prepared all your shit and it never fucking goes according to plan. Like, it just doesn't. And I'm not saying that's bad. Like, yeah, if everything happened according to plan, it would be boring. But a DM goes in there with all his shit prepared and the players will always derail, even if they're not trying to. Generally speaking, unless the DM is like super railroady and like telling the players what to do, they'll always do something else, and the, the DM's hard work goes to fucking waste. And then the other half of being a DM is, you know, improvising and working with what the players give you. And yeah, a good DM needs to be able to do that. And, you know, there's fun to be had in that. But like, again, coming back to 
Like, if the DM needs to be improv like that, which is where the fun of it lies, right? The fun of D&D lies in the weird edge cases and the, oh, I don't know what's happening. This has never happened before. How do we handle it? The DM has to come up with something on the fly that is outside the rules of D&D. You're not fucking... If, you're, if, you're, if the DM is being that creative and that improvisational, you're not even pl- fucking playing D&D anymore. I mean, yeah, you're doing this role-playing within the context of a D&D game, but that kind of creativity is not actually prescribed by the rules of D&D. It's something that it's something that you could do without them. Um so it's it's dumb. And like I've had great moments. Like I've played games of D&D that were fun and memorable and and really memorable things happen. I've had like really I've had characters that I really liked and that had like a great story that I, that I remember and and like you know interesting things happen to them um uh but like i don't know should i should, i don't i'm debating whether i should get into a specific example okay um my, the last D campaign i played it was it was a pretty interesting setting it was this like aztec themed world it was like just a tower like everything outside the tower was was wilderness we were just inside this this stone tower we we basically had to ascend to the top and my character was a paladin he was a paladin of friendship he believed in friendship above all else like the divine power that he believed in was friendship it was gay as hell and i fucking loved it um but like at, but he also was like he was like a good guy he was you know it believed in like the tenets of a civilization because he wanted to be to be friends with everyone um but like as it it eventually went on that like it turned out that the gods of the civilization were kind of were kind of bad like these gods were not like the the, the benevolent gods that they believed it in and he ended up having you know to choose between like like you know do i do i you know could be friends with my do do i continue to pursue friendship in like the immediate and like you know work with my teammates and and be you know friends with them or do i uphold like the tenets of my society you know that i you know friendship on like a mass scale and he had like this real dark turn and he, and he kind of descended into madness and he and he it was really great but like all right that story that was pretty fun for me to play took place over months. It took place over like maybe a dozen sessions that were each like maybe four or five hours a piece. And maybe in like half of them, something interesting happened that progressed the character and that I found to be fun. Maybe, maybe in half, maybe, maybe, maybe let's even say most, like maybe in three quarters of those sessions, did something happen, like a story thing that was interesting or like a combat moment that was really unexpected and that like was like really improvisational and we were like, ooh, I never seen that before. Yeah, they happen, they can be really fun and they can be moments of beauty, but they're fucking embedded in this horrible nightmare scenario scenario of bullshit paperwork and red tape that you all have to sit through and wait in order to get them. And yeah, as much as I enjoyed those bits of the story in that game, looking back, I gotta say, no, it wasn't worth it. It was not worth that much energy, like, to get to them. There could have, there could be better ways to, to, you know, to, to experience or to create a story like that. And the last thing I want to say is that Uh, Tom tells the story with the alligators where, you know, he tried to diplomatize the alligators and he rolled and it was a natural 20 and wow, he successfully diplomatized the alligators. Incredible, right? Wrong. Because that, there, there you have it. He rolled a die and he got a 20, right? Like whenever you roll a natural 20, the DM's got to think, you know, something weird's got to happen. Like, oh, something, even something impossible is, is supposed to be made to happen in some way. So that... So that can, like, create an interesting story, right? Like, oh, somehow he was able to communicate with these alligators. Well, um, the thing about that is that uh, 19 out of 20 times that doesn't happen. And the satisfying conclusion to that story doesn't happen. So, like, 19 times out of 20, um, the story is just not interesting. 19 times out of 20, that would have been like, oh, I tried to talk to the alligators and they just attacked me and I died or I had to fight them or something. So... What I'm saying is that, yeah, like, an interesting story there would involve, like, oh, against all odds, he was able to communicate with the alligators. And sometimes that happens. But 19 out of 20 times, the story is prevented from taking the more interesting turn. 19 out of 20 times, you'll be hoping that something interesting will happen, and then it won't. Because the dice will say no. The fun and cool thing don't happen. Sorry, buddy. And I know that, like, the fact that they're rare and chance-based kind of makes them special, 
But still, I think that the fact that like the the goodness of the story and like the 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 course of the story is randomly decided. Yeah, it makes it unpredictable and it can make unexpected things happen, but it also fucking curbs the momentum and can kill a good story that might otherwise have happened. Which is why I hate rules-based systems, I hate d and I hate you, Tom, and I hate you, the listener. This is fucking Ben Saint from Pokemon Purgatory. Get fucked. See you next time, buckos.